Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we're going to do is start to explore the stage of film. And the stage of film is the frame. And how you are framed changes how much you can move within that frame. The closer you are, the more you move, the more jarring that movement will be. And the more out of focus you'll be. So what we're going to do is I want you to first, we're going to have a quick crash course in the different types of frames. What you have is a long shot. Now a long shot is your entire body. We can see your entire body. Then we have a medium long shot, and that's where we can see three quarters of your body. That's from your knees up. Now, a long shot is used for us to see the entire room. That's usually at the beginning of something, or if we wanna see a fight scene and we need to see everybody's full body, then we'll wanna have that, right? But a three quarters scene, right, a medium long shot, is going to be anytime you're moving. It pulls us more into the story. We see all of you, but this is when a person is moving from one location to another. But if we're having a conversation, what we're gonna do, and primarily most of your filming, is going to be from a mid shot to a close up. Now a mid shot is what I'm framed in right now. It's from your hips all the way to the top of your head. And you have a little bit of what we call headroom. Because if my head was at the top of the frame, it would be a little weird. It would feel a little claustrophobic. So we give a little bit of space above our head and we call that headroom. And that just, it gives a little bit of, it, it puts your audience at ease. So you always wanna have a little bit of headroom. Now, you have a medium shot. Now you also have a medium close up. That's gonna be from the middle of your chest to the top of your head. These two are going to be for conversations and you can pop back and forth between them because if you have two people and it's a mid shot, you can have both of them at this, in the same frame. And if it's a medium close up shot, if you were to do that, well, it's gonna be a little bit more romantic. But if I'm facing the camera, it's going to feel more like a conversation between you and me. That's going to be the visual distance that I would have with a person that I'm having a conversation with, especially if I, am, if I know them really well. A close-up is just your face. And a close-up is primarily used for big emotional reveals. If someone's really sad, really tired, really angry, we're gonna want to see it. and We want an up-close view of that. Now an extreme close-up is going to be where we take something really small and we make it really big. <laughs> now if it's a fight scene and we really want to see and focus on the tension between the two people's eyes, right? We're going eyes, 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 eyes. That kind of moment, that's an extreme close-up. You're not going to use that a lot. But knowing that each of those tells a different part of the story, right? And what you're going to do is pull someone into the story and pull them out. But an extreme close-up is used for bit, little tiny details that have big important, um, th their importance within the story is huge. And so you need to understand how each of these frames are used within storytelling so that you can, so that you can use them to your advantage. So here's what's going to happen this week. You're gonna explore the different frames. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your computer by a door. And you are going to open the door, walk into the space, and you are going to walk into the frame. And then I want you to tell us a story. But I want you to do it in each of the different frames. Tell us the same story in as many of the frames as possible because you need to get used to how much you can move, how expressive you can be. No one's gonna see these videos other than us in the class. And the primary thing that we're doing is getting you used to moving within the space of the frame. So what you're gonna do is tell us a story. Enter the room, tell us a story, but I want you to be framed in different ways. I want you to see what your best framing is so that you can use it later. All right, everybody. I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.